Side note, I didn't put this together, but I know it's backwards. It is what it is, and <laughs> low key, this matches the legs, so it kind of works. But if you see that, don't worry about it. You don't have to tell me. I know. So we're just gonna call it mixing textures and carry on. <laughs> but this walk this morning, like first thing, was perfect i just think it's important especially if you're trying to like create new habits to just make habits for yourself that are like feasible for your lifestyle don't watch this and think that you need to wake up at the crack of dawn and go on a damn walk girl if you wake up at one o'clock and you decide that you just want to get outside and not be in the house all day even leaving your house and going outside is a good step i know for some people that's like duh but some people have a hard time doing that if you want to try to start waking up super early in the morning then of course do it but i would never feel bad about myself because i'm not doing what the next person is doing so i vlogged a little bit of my walk but afterwards i put my camera back in my car and i really like got my walk on <laughs> I just wanna walk next on the top. Big bitch just wanna see the automatic with a drop. Ask me if I'm finished now. If you're not a person that likes to walk, I recommend, of course, listening to some music, walk in a scenic area, which is why I like to go to different places and walk around. Also, just wandering. If I feel safe, of course, I'll just walk around wherever I see and I'm like, mm, what's over here, what's over there? So even today, when I was downtown, I walked by this really cute little 
coffee shop I think I don't know it was super cute though I'm gonna have to go back they had a lot of cute stuff in there they had a lot of cute like decor and the small like little knickknacks and stuff like that and so a lot of times when I'm walking I just end up stopping in a lot of different stores it was really early this morning so there weren't a lot of options but going into the store I'm still gonna be walking but it's just like a distracting factor don't feel like you gotta buy something from every store you go in I am window shopping also when I was walking I ran into this cute little hotel so I've heard of it it's brand new I can't remember what it was called Grand Bohemian maybe yeah yeah but I walked in there and the lobby and stuff was super nice I sat down and chilled by their fireplace it was cold my hands were freezing and my butt cheeks <laughs> Specifically my hands and my butt, like I were just so cold. So I sat in there for a little bit and warmed up by their little fireplace and yeah it was very nice in there as well. I wonder what the rooms look like. So I left from my walk. I probably got like 7,000 steps in but they say if you walk 10,000 steps a day you gonna get a fat ass. Who says that? 10,000 steps a day it seems like OD but it's really not that much. Like I said I got like 7,000 within like an hour and a half this morning first thing and I still have a full day of wherever I'm walking to and from. After I finished my walk I needed to go to the grocery store. So yeah, I won't go through everything I got just because it's kind of unnecessary, but I'll show you a couple things I grabbed and maybe give a couple like honorable mentions. Some of the stuff I had and I let go bad, but we're getting it together and I plan to not let it go bad. Like lettuce, I know, I'm so lazy for buying this, but it's either this or I'm gonna go out to eat. So of course I got some healthy stuff so I can be on track this coming up week and just like set myself up for like a more successful week because if I have the groceries then the possibility that I'll eat them are a little bit more in my favor. But if you're trying to be a little bit healthier, slim down, I know it's a new year, I will forever recommend this is my Sara Lee Delightful Bread. It's 45 calories and it's white bread. There's 18 grams of carbs and two slices. So I really just like to eat these pretty often, whether it's for a breakfast sandwich, a regular sandwich. The girls love bread, okay? That's how we got so thick in the first place. Okay, my faves, my Sumo Citrus Oranges. They're like very easy to peel. Normally when I go to the grocery store, I try to make sure they're squishy. I don't grab the ones that are really hard and normally they'll be pretty sweet. So I really like these. Watermelon. I'm sorry, I love watermelon. I mean, you need to go to the grocery store and you need to get the reddest watermelon in the section. Right now, I'm not cutting up watermelon. I finally started getting my own watermelon and cutting it up. And it's gonna do it for me every time. I am a water girl. So typically that's the only thing I drink. But a while ago, I got put on to Diet Cherry Limeades from Sonic and they're like basically, I mean, five to 10 calories, depending on what size you get, you can get a really big one because Sprite Zero has zero calories. And in my opinion, Sprite Zero, I mean, it hits. I don't drink anything and I haven't drank like a regular Sprite in a long time. So to me, it hits when I tell my mom that, she's like, no, it doesn't. She's like, nothing is better than a, re a real Sprite. And I mean, I get it, but if you're trying to make the switch, to you know save you some calories I recommend it because one thing I'm not gonna do if I'm trying to slim down is drink calories it's a waste of my time it, calories add up too fast I'm not doing it and I also keep Gatorade zeros it has to be the right flavor for it to hit but a Gatorade zero is another drink that I like to have if I'm not feeling like drinking water all day these drinks are pretty much all Donovan's but let me tell y'all this sweet tea from Publix Oh yeah, it's actually sweet. It contains sugar. So we love that if we're gonna get some sweet tea.
So there are a few more things that I need to tackle to feel like I'm on the right track for this coming week. One, this is awful. How long do y'all take to unpack your clothes after you come back? Mm. <laughs> okay, well, I have an excuse. I was sick for a few weeks, so that was a dub. But my suitcase, I wouldn't call it packed. So I have to clean that. I can't bear look at it anymore. So that needs to be done. I got my grocery shopping done. Really, yeah, organize, clean, declutter. Everything that has to do with cleaning, that in there, I'll probably get on that soon. Ugh. Just gonna make myself comfortable on top of all this stuff. And now I'm just about to tackle this closet because, oh, uh, hopefully it won't take me too long, but there's just a bunch of clothes from when I was packing that are still out that I didn't take with me. And then there's obviously all this stuff in the suitcase. The only thing when I came back was of course, took out my dirty clothes and washed them, but everything else, sitting ducks. So yeah, I really just need to get this going. I. I'm probably gonna turn on some music and just vibe and try to get through this as quickly as possible. They need me to go, but I don't wanna leave. Rest in peace, Lil' Keith. Close the pigeonhole, I'm a night out, this a different mode. I might have to make a pen of six on a pinky toe. Heard you with a shooting guard, just let a nigga know. I would have your court side, not the middle row. All good love in a minute though. I can't stress about no shit cause I'm a timid soul. Plus I'm cooking up ambition on the kitchen stove. Pot start to bubble, see the suds, that shit good to go. So I say I'm suave. But I can't get me cold, bro. Think he John Wayne. I bought them yellow stones. Love the way they hang, babe. No for silicone. Everybody fading. The one finna be my brand, my stream, my way out. Steal. Steal it. So now I can feel like when I start my week, it's just going to be so refreshing, you know? Just 
just leaving the gym. As y'all can see, if I'm being honest, the body positivity movement was not in full effect for me today. This morning when I woke up, I was really excited to get to the gym and just start my week off good. And then we have our days, you know? I was getting ready and I changed my outfit like three times because I just did not feel comfortable. You know, I did not think I was slaying. So I almost didn't go and was just gonna say it. But then I was like, well, if I don't go, I won't feel any better about myself. So you might as well just suck it up, be miserable and go to the gym. So that is what I did. Feeling bad about yourself never got you anything. So I did the treadmill first and was like, you're gonna stay on this thing all day. I stayed on it for 35 minutes. And then afterwards I got on the Stairmaster because I was like, your waist is not snatched yet. So get your ass on the Stairmaster and snatch your waist on up. Never stop keep going we're gonna stay at the gym all day long <laughs> and then afterwards i did my upper body i did buys and tries but i'm glad i came do i feel better about myself now that i've come i feel better about my will i don't necessarily feel better about how i look today but like i said today we are just not giving body positivity yesterday the day before i was feeling myself but for whatever reason tomorrow i'll probably wake up with a whole, totally different mindset i freaking hope so because i don't want it's not good to like hate on yourself you got to be your biggest supporter and let's be clear we're confident in ourselves always but we have our days like i could wake up and think i don't look the, as cute as i could look i didn't feel like that i actually thought i looked super cute saying i was like the face card it's not declining babe even in the gym while I'm sweating. So yeah, let's just hope for better days tomorrow. But if you're feeling down about yourself, take the day off or go get it. I just wanted to be real with y'all for a second. <sighs> That's enough of that. Hope y'all enjoy the vlog. But yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. So bye.